What's up YouTube, TMZ1313 here, and today I'm going to be moving my solar panels up on the roof um, of my garage, simply because after 6 o'clock, I get this shadow on top of the solar panels, and it ruins my um, output of the panels because they're hooked up in series. So it, uh, I basically get nothing at this time of day uh, because of that. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to put it up on my garage, and I'll show you guys where at, and I'll take you guys up there right now. So as you can tell, I'm up uh, near my roof, so the panels are right here, is that I get sun up here still at this time of day. The sun's right up here, and um, I could get at least another hour or two if I put them up here. Now, I don't know the exact angle of this, but it's pretty close to um, what I need it to be. I need it to be 72 degrees, um, which is pretty close. So uh, I'll check that when I get up there. But for right now, we're going to disconnect the panels and uh, get that wire out. And we're going to start drilling holes in the roof and go from there. All right, so this is what my solar panels are sitting at when they're like that. So as you tell, I'm basically getting absolutely nothing. So let's disconnect them and we're going to uh, turn off our solar, not our batteries, because that's our batteries, 40 amps. So we're going to do solar. We're going to turn that off. It's now. So we got that cut off. So we're disconnected now. So now I'm going to go out there and disconnect the solar panels. So I really hate these M4 connectors. I always use needle nose, but of course I can't find them right now, so I'm going to have to use these. Solar panels disconnected. Now I just need to pull this wire out, which is easier said than done. So I'm gonna get off camera and do that real quick. So now I'm gonna disconnect that wire to the solar panel. I just took these screws out. Uh, sorry. So it's just a uh, Phillips or flatheads. So. go and now the wire runs along here and that's where it, right there is where it goes out so I'm gonna have to pull it from the outside through all right so I'm up on my roof now um, just check the angle of this right here it's only five degrees so it's not that much so I, I am gonna have to make up the difference I should be about 72 degrees uh, so that's like that basically um, so I will have to make up the difference um, I would just mount it right here because this is a good good angle but the problem is um, it gets shade uh, as you can tell this is still sun the shades about right here so seven o'clock the sun's going right behind that tree now but um, it's seven o'clock so I'd still be able to get good sun well, decent sun for what it is. Uh, so I'm going to mount it right at the edge like that. And um, we're not supposed to get any rain for a week. So I'm going to keep it like this. But I am going to get some tar and tar up that hole real quick. And then tar up all my all my joints that I'm going to have in here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get my boards ready. And we're going to mount it up. All right. All right, so I made a little mount for them, just real quick. Nothing's uh, on there for good right now. This is kind of just for the week until I uh, make a better mount. I do want to make a, a swivel mount where I could adjust the uh, angle. So I'm going to make some hinges down here. 
and then this is going to be adjustable so I'll be able to go like this with my uh, solar panels but this is good for now um, I am going to go and get some tar tar uh, in the in the caulk gun and then caulk it all up make sure there's no holes in the roof so it's not leaking of course you don't want that um, let's have it mounted up like this it's pretty sturdy it's on there really good it barely moves the, the bottom mount is not not connected but um, I'm 95% sure that it could withstand with whatever it takes um, for the next few weeks uh, there's nothing major in our uh, forecast for next week so this is the way I'm gonna do it for now and then um, I will show you guys what I'm gonna do after that so all right let's go inside and connect these solar panels up all right so I zip tied the wires off the uh, roof so they're not getting wet if it does rain and I cleaned off my solar panels to make sure they're nice and clean all right time to go down there and hook them up all right so i hooked everything back up this is the nervous part always i hate doing this i just want to make sure everything's good i got my negative in right my positive is in right so we should be 100 percent good when i hook this up so let's give it a try and we'll see if we're i mean i won't be getting much power because it's almost eight o'clock at night but let's see uh what, what we're working with so moment of truth let's switch a uh, solar on And here we go. Getting something. Sweet. So we did jump up uh, a little. So like I said, it's 8 o'clock at night. So we're basically getting nothing now. Um, but it is working. So that is good. see if it boosts up any basically the sun's not hidden hidden the panels right now so I mean that's as good as I going as I'm gonna get right now but I know I do got voltage everything's working right I don't have a warning light so that's good um, so that is how I put my panels up on the roof let's go out there and show you real quick and I'm gonna put my cover back on make sure that that's on Let's go out there real quick and take a look at them. So here they are up on the roof. They were right here. And now they're up on the roof out of the way. I cut the grass and stuff and uh, and I get more sun during the late hours. Alright guys, like this video, subscribe and check out all my other videos. See ya.